Circuit boards have all these tiny components on them, but how do they actually get there? Today, we're gonna see how circuit boards are assembled by the professionals. Thanks to PCB Wave for sponsoring this video and giving us access to explore their factory. Now, I'm no stranger to soldering small components, but I'm mostly self-taught and honestly making it up as I go along. I wanna see how the pros do it. And not just for one board, but for thousands. And how do they make sure that each and every board works just like it should? It turns out they use robots and unicorns and rainbows. Okay, one of those is a lie, but the other are totally real. And they're amazing, so stick around. Okay. This is the basic problem we're trying to solve. We're trying to get all these little tiny components. This is one of them here on the tip of the tweezers. Here it is next to a grain of rice. We're trying to solder those onto all the little copper pads on this board. And we've got to get them all in the right place, all aligned just properly with the right amount of solder paste. And we have to do it correctly every single time. This is a service mount assembly line. Service mount components are the little ones like this that sit on top of the board, just like that. And through hole components are the ones that go through holes in the board with wire legs like this. Service mount components are used whenever possible these days for commercial products because they're way easier for robots to handle and deal with. But we still need through hole components sometimes and they're a real pain in the neck for the factories to deal with. We'll talk more about that in a minute. The first step in the service mount soldering process is applying the solder paste. This is a solder paste stencil machine. Uh, it applies solder paste, which are these microscopic balls of solder suspended in a flux paste. When we heat the solder paste up in an oven, it flows into liquid solder and then hardens as metal and makes a good electrical joint. We only want the solder paste to go on these pads where the components are gonna be soldered down. So we use a solder paste stencil, which is a thin piece of stainless steel uh, with laser cut holes where the solder paste is gonna go. And then the machine pretty much just squeegees on the solder paste, very similar to how you would for silk screening. There's a fair bit of art to this. Uh, sometimes you have to adjust the holes in the, the uh, solder paste stencil to get the right amount of solder paste in all the right places. This over here is a solder paste inspection machine. They're super high tech. This is the first one I've ever seen. So I wanted to invite Mr. Chen, the manager of the factory, uh, to explain, maybe even explain a little bit about how this works and, and why do you guys use one? BGA的这些产品对如果说有这些产品没有这个检查它的吸高它有些什么吸高的厚度它的这个厚度还有它的多少假如偏吸连吸这些产品如果是没有这个机器检查的话呢就会造成后面可能更多的不良品有了这个设
And when the board first comes in, the camera looks for that mark, and it looks for a couple of them. And once it knows where a couple of those marks are exactly, it knows how is the board positioned both you know, forward, back, side to side, as well as rotation. And that's key, because we want to know within where that board, then we can calculate where all of the positions of the components should be. The second thing is, so this head has a vacuum tip on the end of it. And that vacuum tip comes out and it picks up a component, right? Just using suction. We need to know exactly where that component is. For small components, we can just kind of guess it's on the end of the tip. But for big components, they may shift slightly. And so there is a bottom camera on this machine that wasn't on the other machine. That bottom camera takes a picture. So it moves the, the component over, and then it takes a picture upward of the bottom of the component. And it can see exactly how it's rotated or shifted relative to the head. Once we know the board position and the component position, then we can precisely align them before, before it drops the component onto the board into the solder paste that's already been applied. And it can do this really, really quickly. Some of these machines in this room can place over 40,000 components an hour. And hopefully, it gets it precisely right every single time. They've actually got three separate machines here back to back. Once a board is done with all three, it should have all its components placed on it, at least all its service mount components. And it comes out here for visual inspection and any hand rework. So occasionally, a component will be just slightly misaligned, or it needs to be nudged over. So she's checking each component on the board, just visually inspecting to see if anything looks wrong. And then she's uh, somewhere she's got a, a pair of tweezers, and she's been occasionally nudging something around just to, to fix it a little bit. Finally, it's time to actually melt the solder. So this is the reflow oven. You can think of it like uh, one of those conveyor belt toaster ovens you see in like hotel buffet lines, uh, but it's much bigger and it's a lot fancier. So the idea here is that we want to raise the whole board and the solder and the components all up gradually on a temperature curve to a maximum temperature where that solder melts and then gradually cool them off on a specific curve. So the boards come through on the conveyor belt all the way through the reflow oven. Very slowly, it's bringing them up to temperature down. Once it comes out this end, it's completely soldered. It's then inspected. So do a quick visual inspection, and then it goes into one of the cooler machines in here. This is an AOI machine, which stands for Automatic Optical Inspection. So it uses all different colors of rainbow light to automatically inspect all of the different solder joints. What we want to do is we want to look at every single solder joint that came out of the reflow oven and see if it looks correct. So what they do is they, they first take a board that they have tested and visually inspected that they know is like a golden master. It's perfect. And they go through and they take a whole bunch of pictures of every single solder joint using all of the rainbow light inside the machine that's shining at different angles. So they've got different colored lights at shining at different angles so that it causes the shiny solder, which reflects the light, to light up in all different colors depending on the angle of the solder. So it allows them to visually, from one angle using a two-dimensional camera, to see in three dimension this shiny surface based on what color is reflecting off of it. The machine then knows what are the colors for all the different solder joints for that golden master. What do they look like when they're correct? And then it takes a picture of the board that's currently being inspected that he is looking at right now. And you can see there was just, whoop, you can see right here, he just found a defect, right? So this component is shifted and it does not look like this. You can see the machine caught that and said, there's a problem here, go look. And so he's manually looking through all of the components to see which ones look wrong to him that the machine said, maybe these are not quite right. And then he's putting these little inspection arrows to say, hey, this needs to be fixed. And someone will come by and fix that with a, a soldering iron in the rework room. And then he's putting an X on that board to say, hey, here, here's a problem. This allows them to really make sure that all of the solder joints are correct. And it's way faster and more efficient than doing it all by hand by just staring at the board, looking at every single one by hand. But my favorite kind of defect that they find is called tombstoning. It's where a small surface mount component is flipped up on one end, and it looks like a tombstone in a graveyard. And actually, they don't generally have that problem here at this factory. We had to get them to rework one of their boards and flip one up manually so that we could show what it looked like. This is an x-ray machine. And they use this when they're doing BGA soldering, where all of the, the pins for the chip are underneath the chip. This is an x-ray of the top of the chip, and these are all the little balls. This is the sign of a really high quality PCBA factory that they can do BGA like this and inspect every single one to make sure the solder's correct. And then it's not 
you know, connected together or smeared or they've got not enough solder or they're missing a solder ball or they've got an air bubble or something like that. It's super cool. I've, I've not seen one of these before. This is the first factory that I've been to that's had one. One of the really important things is to make sure that they're putting the right components in the right place on the board. And with all the reels and feeders and pick and place machines, it is possible to get that a little screwed up. Uh, a lot of the components look exactly the same. So what they're doing in here is they're testing the value of every single component on a board that's had all the components placed by the pick and place machines, but before it's been run into the, the reflow oven. So they're not soldered down. And so she's going through and with these tweezers, picking up every single one of these components, uh, specifically the resistors and capacitors, which all look the same, and making sure that they're the right values. And my understanding is this is a pretty unique machine. So Mr. Chen, this is not a machine that every factory has. Right? This is this is something special. Uh,这个这个设备是我们工厂我们发明的。呃,我们用这个设备能够更高效的解决提升品质,呃,防止这个呃,延件的贴错。呃,我同时我们也在卖给我们同行的其他厂家。呃,整个我们深圳口的生产
Oh, it sings. Okay. Oh, this is what was singing earlier. I got it. I understand now. This is so cool. It is so homemade and so like perfect for its task. I love it. So far, we've seen a lot of workers visually inspecting boards, but that just tells us how the solder joints look. And that's not really what we care about. What we care about the most is do they work electrically? And so we need to do some electrical testing. For one-off prototypes, that's really the responsibility of the engineer uh, to test their own board. They may have made some mistakes in their design, but when we start making a bunch of boards, we need a repeatable way of making sure it actually works the way we intend it. And that's where testing jigs come in. This is a pogo pin testing jig that is custom designed for this board. It's also called a bed of nails jig. So these here are testing pins that, that are spring loaded. So these are, are spring loaded pins here that touch custom designed test points on the board that the designer designed into the board. And then this thing is, is custom designed to match uh, those test points. And these kind of all look the same, but they've all got a different layout of, of pins and registration pins and board outlines so that it fits in. And this jig will power up the board, will test that it works properly, and will also do things like program in firmware into, into the microprocessor, it'll assign serial number, things like that. It also can assist with doing more functional testing. So this is some sort of IoT device, uh, and they've got They've got a base unit for it to talk to, and there's a whole test script that's programmed into the computer so that we can, it, the, the technician can test it all at once to make sure that every step of the product is working properly. However, sometimes you can't get around old-fashioned button pushing. This product doesn't happen to have a button in it, but often these, this testing process involves a technician just pushing a button, making sure the buttons work like you expect. PCBWay also offers a service I haven't seen in any other PCB assembly factories before. This is a conformal coating machine. Once the board is fully assembled and tested, they spray it with a waterproof, dustproof, clear coating. So the one thing we haven't talked about yet is how someone like you can order your own board. PCBWay has a website where you can upload your board design, specify all the components and part numbers that you want, they'll take care of making the PCB and ordering all the parts for you. Once the parts come in, they come into the warehouse here where they collect them all. Once they've got everything for your order, it comes over here to the verification area. She's checking to make sure that all the part numbers are correct, all the values are correct, and then they've got the right number of everything. If you'd like to order your own board, whether it's bare or assembled, you can go to pcbway.com. There's a link down in the description. So thank you, Mr. Chen, for taking all the time to show me all the cool stuff you and your team have built. I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you enjoyed this factory tour, be sure to check out the other factory tours on my channel. We've also got a bunch more cool ones coming up soon, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon next to it down below. I'm Scotty with Strange Parts. I'll see you next time.